Right guys, morning. We're here today at Loddon Valley Police Station um, on the outskirts of Reading. This uh, appears to be the main operational police station for the town. Um, Reading town still does exist but they've got a huge custody block here um, and there's a few misconduct cases that are currently um, in the pipeline. Um, we're here to see if Thames Valley Police are going to honour and respect our right to photograph and video the comings and goings. There's a PC Greenhalf who is up for a disciplinary hearing this week. It may have already taken place uh, for making racial and homophobic comments in front of his colleagues. Um, so yeah, here we are. We, uh, this is the main entrance and we'll see if we get an interaction. Um, just going to get my bearings and then uh, I'll pick this back up. Yeah, so as I said, this seems to be a main admin, main admin and custody centre for, tea, for Reading Police. We've had a, a bit of interest, we've had a few people looking out of office windows. Um, who knows, they may have had the NPCC memo, they may not have done. Um, you, you guys probably can't see it because of the reflection, but there is quite a bit of activity going on behind the windows. Um, they've definitely seen us, they're definitely talking about us, it's whether they decide to come out and interact with us. And if they do, of course, we'll see how that interaction shapes. So, we've got a police vehicle coming back in. Mark's car. Um, I didn't see if it had a prisoner on board. He's just absolutely scraped the bottom of his car on the speed bumps. So I'm just keeping the camera to the right of the doors so as not to pick up my buddy. Um, you can see the station desk officers are out in there having a good look. But you probably can't see it actually. Uh, the smoked windows are designed, I think, to uh, help hinder the filming. So we're still attracting lots and lots of attention, lots of coffee cups and, and faces appearing in the windows. As of yet, no contact of any description. Um, I think they may well have been told by their superiors to, to not bite and just to ignore us. So here we go, we've got some blinds closing now. Yeah, I, I think they've had the message. Let's have a look and see if we can get the station desk officer. Yeah, there's the SDO in the window there, look. Going about her duties. She doesn't seem overly fast, unlike her colleagues in the other offices. Who knows, maybe all the blinds will be closed. Um, I think the fact that we've been seen and nobody's came out to initiate any kind of interaction. I, I think that's a, a signal of what we can probably expect. Um, so uh, we've got the other camera rolling as well. Um, so I'll pick this back up in a minute. We've got lots of people, lots of movement, lots of frantic movement inside, um, which is always nice. It, you know, it means that they're becoming more aware. So, uh, which let's face it, is what we want, isn't it? We want them to be aware, we want them to conduct themselves properly. Um, so yeah, I'll pick this back up. So we're still having a wander down the outside. Um, the blinds seem to have all been closed at this end. Um, no activity down here so far. So this is the road that goes down round to the uh, custody suite and the car park. Um, I don't know if this is a new sign, but uh, the light on my screen isn't too clever. I'm hoping you can see this. Police vehicles only, and then it says no public beyond this point. Um, doesn't say vehicles or pedestrians, just simply no public, so I won't push my luck and go around the corner. So let's see if we can attract any attention from these windows. As I say, my, my personal view is that for once they all seem to have read the memo. Um, I would like to 
know if any of the officers based here have got an opinion on PC Greenhalf. Of course, they they won't want to share it with us. Um, but you know, you can make them. You can you can ask. You can ask. So interestingly, the SDO, the station duty officer, is the only one who has opted not to close her blinds. Um, of course, it may be that she's completely comfortable with the filming, or it may just be that she's got so much crap on her windowsill the blinds won't close. Who knows? So just what coming goes? back with it, guys, because we've got a. So we've got a marked vehicle coming out now. Of course, we're allowed to film those without a problem. There you go. Obviously busy, busy, off to do a job. Is he turning right or is he coming back round? No, he is turning right. He's definitely had the memo, hasn't he? So, as well as the marked police vehicles leaving, coming and going from Loddon Valley Police Station, we've got a good old trusty sweat box coming out now. Um, there's a few orders. I'll let down comes the visor. I'm sure that's not because of the sun. There he goes. No reaction whatsoever. Um, I imagine they're sh shunting people off to um, ready magistrates, those that have been held overnight themselves. I'll pick it up again in a minute. So yeah, this, uh, this being the main operational police station for the local policing area, um, I'm not quite sure how big the custody suite is. Um, I'm led to believe it's large. I mean, the, the old Reading town was large. Um, We'll probably end up rocking up there a bit later on and having a look. Um, known locally as Castle Street Nick, as opposed to Reading Town Police Station. Um, I'm going to have a chat with my oppo, and because it looks like they've got the message. So, another marked vehicle coming out. Don't know if we're going to get any interaction or any comment. Nothing at all. To be honest, they all seem pretty easy with the fact that we're here, as I say, the memo's clearly gone round. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll set off shortly, have a look at Castle Street, Nick. So we've got another marked vehicle coming into uh, Loddon Valley Police Station. Bit of a wave. Oh, they love scraping the bottom of these cars, don't they? Okay, guys, so before we leave Loddon Valley Police Station, um, because the officers have all been so indifferent, um, to our presence and they've given us the occasional wave. We're going to go in and ask what the station's stance is on people doing these things. Let's see what they give us. Let's have a look. And, uh, use the bell. No. The bell was not working. Hello? There seems to be. Good morning. Um, just a, a quick question, if I may. Um, obviously, you've seen us filming outside. Um, your officers have been absolutely fantastic. You've, I, I don't know if you're used to having people filming outside Loddon Valley. I don't normally work at this police station. That's fine. Um, is it possible? I mean, <laughs> I, I'd like to know what the duty inspectors or the station as a whole, what the stance is, what stance you're taking, whether um, TVP Loddon Valley have adopted the NPCC guidelines on photographers. Everyone seems very, very friendly, very, um, yeah, very jovial. We've had a few waves. Just wonder what the official line was from the station with regard to videography. Hmm. If somebody could talk to us, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. So uh, we'll pick this up when we come back. So far, all good. Deputy Commander, yeah. uh, is that for this station or is that for the yes, whole LPA? LPA? Yeah, the LPA. So he's right, okay. So nobody's willing to. Me. Sorry, she, Helen, yeah. sorry. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of me, wasn't it? So nobody at the station is willing to uh, pass comment Not at the moment? Right. No. Is that because they're unwilling or they're tied up? They're tied up. Oh, yeah. okay. 
course. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that's Helen Kenny. Mm -hmm. And she's the, uh, what bank does she hold? No, you, you said, yeah. Thank you, you're very good, thank you. She's the Chief Inspector, thank you very much. Thank you for your time.